Chela Slashri G stress uh shit 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 tree or shit shit day destiny um today Friday I think it's the 26th the 26th 20 28 maybe anyways Friday we're at the sweet home ponds pretty early I think it's like uh probably six o'clock I think sun comes up at like 606 looks like it's just coming up so it's probably right around there uh, yeah tomorrow I'm going fishing with my dad so I just wanted to get warmed up you know get that whole arm warmed up to hook some toes but uh yeah figured I'd talk to you while I'm walking down here got my bow back maybe just a vent for you real quick fucking Bowtech ran me through the ringers. All right, just put in. Here are the coyotes. 614, so sun came up about six minutes ago. <sighs> Got a new little chair. And today I went two straps on it. Actually seems to be doing pretty nice, to be honest. My dad always seems to catch one over here. Today we're going fast. That's basically the name of the game. Speed. So let's see if this works. Hopefully my camera's not going wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. But there's some fish out here just getting fucking airborne, dude. Little tiny guys, but let's see if I can get you see anyone I literally saw one in front of that goose one past the goose the one past the goose was floating in the air like a foot off foot out of the water yeah, he's like nah nah top water's done bro top water's done today on my uh, old bass fishing app I don't know what the hell it's called but it said that the major time was around like seven to eight or no seven to nine like a two hour window major fish bite got all the critters out here goose looks like a, I think that's a beaver could be a nutrier you know one of them big old rats but I feel like it's a beaver See a lot of little beaver chew marks and all the little sticks and everything around here. I wonder if there's a bunch of geese that are just pissed because their eggs never hatched or you know and they're taking out on the other geese. It was you Frank, it's your fault. You're always messing with me man. White crane just picked up and Oh, he's going to go land in the tree. Holy shit. What the fuck was that? Was that you, beaver? Or was that fish? Dude, if something did that next to my kayak, I'd flip, dude. I'd actually roll over. <laughs> That'd be so scary. Oh my gosh. That was insane. I wonder what that was. I wonder if the GoPro got it or if I was looking too much to the other side. I feel like I'm... Oh, fish. Oh. Like it almost splashed me, dude. That was insane. Oh, there it is. There we go.
come on. Wasn't going nowhere. Hey, let's get a weight on them. We haven't weighed any fish in a while. Almost two. All right. Shoot shining though. He's like, fuck you, prick. Uh. You know what? I just saw him again. I don't know if you saw the ripples, but I'm pretty sure I saw that beaver again. That's what I'm thinking. Slap, slap the top of the water. I don't think it was a fish. It could have been a fish, but I think it was a beaver. And he's trying to be like, hey, back off my shit, bruh. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Whoa. He done me, Seth. He's mad. He's hot. <laughs> Strunk. He died Mesa. At me, he was mad. <laughs> Anyways, we're just gonna fish these trees, run over, and see what time it is. Still up, only maybe that one bite earlier in the first pond. It's 7.48. I just heard the guy, somebody, I don't know if it was a guy I saw fishing earlier, but somebody just hooting and hollering. So I think somebody caught a fish, which is cool. Good for them. Let's see if we can catch one up under this tree. We usually do. Sometimes there's one hiding by this little sticker patch. There he is. <laughs> oh, spit it right at the end. I never had a hook in him. What a joke. Oh, yeah. For the same fish. She. Let's back up away from the tree a little bit. I'll put you right back there, girl. Get weight on you. All right. Get you a little water. Cold. Let me take a picture with you, sorry. Alright. Sorry it took so long. <sighs> nice. Alright, we just missed a fish. Pretty sure at least, so. Under the worm in there. That was terrible. Looks a little guy. Maybe well, not super little. Oh yeah, not really that little. Come here, guy. Oh yeah, he was. 
pretty little. Probably like a pound. Oh, got a little gash there on the side. What's that, buddy? Orange eyes. Thanks. <coughs> I'm pretty sure he is the one that hit that last time. Hook's probably too big for his mouth, though. I don't know if you can see that. There's an osprey out here hunting my bass, it looks like. What a dick. Why don't you go eat the trout or something? Sorry, buddy. He's like, gee, thanks for the hole. So yeah, water high equals no good. I bet the fish just go kind of hang out wherever. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. This spot never produces. Alright, my angle caught there. Off dude. Got my bow back. Maybe just a vent for you real quick. Fucking Bowtech ran me through the ringers. Some fucking straight up bullshit. When you pay like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just cheap ass. Is that something out there? I don't think so. It's just a big field out here. Look like there might have been a dog or something. Watch me. I don't think so. Anyways, got my bow back, took it in. It was like 220 bucks to get new limbs, you know, which is fine. It's not a crazy amount, but dude tells me it's gonna take like uh, take like a week, maybe two weeks. He says, you know. So I waited a week, maybe a week and a half. Called wasn't ready the guy said it was weird because it said it's done we can't find it hearing weird stuff there's a steamy pile of dino shit you know like from old Jurassic Park anyways so that happens it said it was done it wasn't done and it's just weird and he'll call me back the next day or whatever it never fucking happened next week i think i called and literally got the same exact explanation i'm like that's fucking crazy bro and so waited another week i think i called one more time and they said you know it's probably gonna take a couple more days so we were like three weeks maybe even almost four weeks at that point so i just waited and i was like fuck it, dude i'm gonna stop calling whatever it'll get done when it gets done it's spring you know we got probably don't have to start shooting my bow till summer anyways finally they call and it was like six weeks later bro some random dude is late on saturday which they're not open sunday or monday and they call and they're like yeah your bow's done all right so i'm like okay you know couldn't couldn't get it the next couple days so i figured I'm gonna pick a day out and go get it so I go down there, it was after the last day me and my dad were fishing. <coughs> we head down there, go to pick it up. They say, yeah, it's done. 
They're kind of douchebags there at the front. They're eating, whatever. Me and my dad probably took a bad time to go in there. Anyways, they can bring my bow out. But I call the arrow rest string still off of it. It's gonna take a minute. And I was like, okay, I don't give a shit. I'm just excited to get my bow back, you know? So they finally get that all done. It took a while. Me and my dad were walking around the store for a fucking long time, but you know, that's not the thing I'm mad about. Anyways, get the bow. I was looking at it for a second. I was like, you know, probably want to see what this the poundage is, because that's the whole reason I brought it in here and paid 200 bucks is to get the poundage up. And I wanted uh, 65 because it'll go up to 70 now, but something just to warm up, you know. And so, person takes it, they put it on their little tester and they pull it. I'm like, hold on, that's weird. They pull it again. <clears throat> and they're like, oh, it's saying like 77. And I'm like, damn, I think I'm like cam hands or something, you know? But they're looking, they keep doing a bunch of shit, trying to lower it and stuff. And then finally, after like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes trying to lower it, the person's like, hey, uh, ask one of the other people, how come it's not going down, you know? How come it's only going down a little bit each time? And uh, eventually they go and they got a good look at it. And they were the wrong fucking limbs, bro. And they were about to just give those to me, like nothing. Like they wouldn't have cared at all. If I would have broke them again, they probably would have made me pay for more. You know? But, they switched them over, switched them back. You know, after they found out they were fucking up, they fucking hustled after that. You know? They're like, fuck, better get it done to this guy now. Type of deal. But yeah, I don't know. I probably won't be going back there. That's fucking lame, dude. The place sucks. I'm sorry. If you work there and if you fucking, oh no, blow tech over there, you probably just have a lot of money and you spend a lot of fucking money over there. That's the truth. Because that's what it seems like. Me and my dad don't look like fucking clean cut type of people and that's how we got treated. That's how it felt at least. I mean, I can't clean up, but I'm just, you just don't give a fuck. Fucking hunters. Not fucking hunters. Target shooters. Anyways. Yeah. We're out here. We're gonna catch some fish. Sorry if that's too much. I don't even know if we'll put that in there. Off loop.